which life experience has taught you the most? It would be when my first husband passed, mm -hmm. and um, he was the boat builder extraordinaire mm -hmm. in the region. And I made the decision not to sell the business. I made the decision to go in and run the business. I think that was the life-changing experience for me. The challenge was that it was an industry that all male, mm -hmm. the staff was all male. It's not machines mm -hmm. building boats, it was all staff. Right. The clients are all male, right. clients are all male. And then it taught me something about the value, about money. Right, <laughs> of course. Ah, the cost of it, because you know, you know, you're talking, you know, mm -hmm tens of thousands of dollars. Now, what was important was that when I took over, when my husband passed and I took over the company, and this is something where men listen to this, the banks stopped all overdraft. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. They stopped all overdraft because they didn't think that a woman could run this business. Right. So I ran that business for six to nine months with absolutely no overdraft. So it was important to keep things, right. to keep things turning. Yeah. At that time, it's just you didn't associate a woman with board building, forget it, mm -hmm. much less the whole idea of business and, you know, and, and the necessary you know, things that one needs to do. I don't run from things, I deal with things um, head on. Um, I take on what I feel I can do and what I feel I can learn. Um, and the interest is there mm -hmm. and I can learn to do. Um, and I give it my all, which I think is important. And if anything, if I'm able to pass anything on, mm -hmm. is that, that you give something your all. You know, you're, you're doing this job regardless of what the job is and that you put everything, everything into it.